So if you're a defender and you want to improve your overall game, there's more to it than just being a monster in the tackle or winning every single header. Of course, that helps, you know, but today we've listed seven things that you need to improve in order to become a better defender. And I'll throw in a few tips on how you can start working on it. So make sure you've subscribed and let's get to it. The first skill that a modern defender should possess is awareness. Now, this is one of the most important things to get good at because it can help you in all aspects of the game. Now, you do this by keeping an eye both on the opponents and on your teammates. To get better at this, try to, when you practice, always know where most people are on the pitch. Make some habits for yourself to always look around and spot potential dangerous situations so you learn how to anticipate both attacking plays but also potential runs from the attackers a lot better. So the more you know, the easier it is to prevent. So look around you, it helps. And for the second skill, we have controlling the offside with communication. As you know, communication is pretty important. Now, as a defender, you are in control of the attackers, or at least you're in control of the area they need to stay in before the ball is passed. And the key to controlling that area is communication. In fact, once you get good at guiding your teammates, defending gets a whole lot easier. But of course, you also need to learn to spot a potential through ball coming and then call for the defensive line to push up and catch the attackers offside. And then of course, follow suit yourself. And once you get good at luring the attackers to make a run, but then you step up before the pass comes, it will be extremely annoying for the poor attackers. So modern football is hugely based on a strong passing game and often we see attacking plays begin with the defenders. So you'll need to be good both at long passes where you bypass the midfield and send your attackers running, but also the medium or short distance passes to your defenders or midfielders. As a defender, losing the ball because of bad passing precision is a pretty bad situation, so you should really practice getting good at it. For instance, trying to hit a target from different distances. It's all about consistency here, so make sure that you do it again, and again, and again. And if you get good at passing, you'll actually automatically improve your composure as well. Now, as a defender, you need to always stay cool, both on and off the ball. This means that you don't throw away the ball or dribble recklessly in defense, but it also means that you don't take unnecessary risks. For instance, rushing at an attacker or sliding into a tackle if there's a risk of exposing the entire back line if you mistime it. Sadly, composure is hard to learn overnight and it's a matter of practicing the areas you want to improve so many times that you feel confident in your own skill. And once that confidence comes, it will take more for you to lose focus and, let's be honest, do something stupid. For the fifth skill, we have interceptions. Now, those are an important part of the defender's game because it breaks the rhythm of the attacking team. Being good at interceptions takes a lot of experience and a good amount of brain power because you need to read your opponents and figure out what their next pass is going to be before they even realize that you read their minds. A tip to getting better at this is to try and figure out the preferences of the opponent's midfield and attackers. Do they like to drop down or maybe run wide to receive the ball? Figure out these patterns of the opposing team and punish them for sticking to the same old patterns or habits all the time. Basically, if you can see a midfielder angling his or her body to make a pass in that direction, that's probably what they're gonna do. So step in, be ready to cut off the passing lane and take the ball. Easy. Now, reading your opponent is also an important part of being good at the next skill, which is tackling. Now, when you decide to make a tackle, you have two options. Either you watch and follow your opponents and wait until they make a mistake that you can punish, or you try to guess what the next move is and then you take the initiative yourself. But your default should always be to wait for a mistake. Because with this method, you make sure that you're not completely beaten or exposing yourself, allowing the attacker a straight run at goal. But if the opponent doesn't make any big mistakes, you have to make the tackle at some point. 
You can't just let them run, can you? But if that's the case, you have to try and be as unpredictable for the opponent as you can. And if you want more tips on tackling, go watch this video on how to be an attacker's worst nightmare. For the final skill, we have um, doing skills. And yes, you might wonder what on God's green earth skills have to do with being good at defending. But I'm actually thinking of one skill that every defender can use because you are most likely facing attackers. They're attackers for a reason, because they're not necessarily very good at defending or reading your game. So here, you can do the outside step over. Now, you do this skill move by faking going one way, but step over the ball from the outside in without touching it. Now, here it's very important to sell the move, so drop the shoulder, make that little body feint, and when the opponent is hopefully tricked, rather easily because they are attackers most of the time, you go back and get the ball and head in the opposite way. You shouldn't do this all the time, but if skills are used with caution and care in the defense, it's one of the most effective things you can pull out of the hat. Because again, no one will be expecting it. So, seven different areas that you can start improving as a defender. But are there other key areas that you'd like us to dive into? Let us know in the comments. Remember to subscribe, of course, with the notifications on. And finally, go visit Unisport if you need new boots or new football gear. And with those words, I'll be signing off. Cheerio.